Okay, so in today's math lesson, we're starting a new module, and we're starting to talk about statistical questions and what is considered a statistical question, what is not considered a statistical question. And here it is, statistical questions. Now, statistics is all about the study or the collection and the study of data. And data is information. Okay. Our entire society is all about information, collecting data. And if you're a baseball fan, you know all about statistics and data because everything in baseball is measured. But the first thing we're going to be studying now is whether or not something is actually a statistical question. Now, what, is the, what does that mean? Well, a statistical question basically states that, okay, that the data you collect or information you collect varies, which means the information is different. You're not collecting the same piece of information or the, the, the data itself never changes. It needs to vary. So we need to identify whether or not something is statistical in nature or not. So the first, for example, part A over here, how many letters are in my last name? This is not considered a statistical question. And why? It's not considered a statistical question because there's only one answer. Okay, my name, all right, names have a fixed uh, response. Okay, so if you're asking me uh, how many letters are in my last name, well, there's only one answer. Okay, there is only one answer. Now, if you wanted to make this statistical, perhaps you may change the question to ask something like, well, how many letters are in everyone's last name? Or how many letters are in um, the last names of the people in sixth grade, of the students in sixth grade? If you do something like that, it becomes statistical because now there's more than one answer and the data will vary. Okay, you may come to some conclusion later on, but the data itself will vary. Let's take a look at B. How many letters are in the last names of the students in my sixth grade class? Now, there you have it. We have letters, the last name, and in my sixth grade class. Now, unless every kid has the same last name, the, this is a yes. This is a statistical question. Yes, because the data will show a variety of responses. Not all last names will or have, let me change that, not all last names have the same number of letters. Okay? So that's what it means when I'm asking about statistical questions and whether something is or is not a statistical question. Okay? Now, another area we jumped into is taking a look at data and finding out is it categorical or numerical in nature. Now what that means is, is the data in numbers, or is the data in words? And what do I mean by that? Okay, numerical is numbers and categorical is in words. Now, uh, let's take a look at A, arm spans of 12 sixth graders. Now, arm spans are measured in number. For example, an arm span could be, I don't know, 30 inches or 32 inches. That data is going to be written in the form of numbers. Well, if that's true, this is then considered C for categorical. Okay? Part B, number of languages spoken by each of 20 students. Once again, that's going, excuse me, I put categorical. That should be a N. Sorry, numerical. Numerical, because it's numbers. This is also N for numerical because the answer is going to be, or the data is going to be arranged or are completed using numbers. The number of languages spoken. 
by 20 uh, adults. That could be three or two or one. It's going to be numerical by nature. Part C, favorite sport of each person in a group of 20 adults. Well, those are going to be uh, word answers. Maybe baseball. Right, these are all examples. Maybe football. Maybe soccer. Well, if the answers or the data collected is going to be in the form of words, this is then all categorical. Okay? And so that's the deal today, folks. So we're taking the first look at statistics and talking about statistical questions and whether the data that's collected is either numerical or categorical in nature. Okay? Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.